This week, we can take in some art and check out some books. We can learn the real story of Eloise and check out some funny rumors. All that and more this week in Westland. Inside Westland City Hall has a new exhibit that will be on display until February 24th. The Three Cities Art Club has curated a show featuring works from a number of local artists. All the pieces pay tribute to or recognize the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King or Black History Month. The gallery is open during regular business hours Monday through Friday and is located just to the left as you enter the main doors of City Hall. The Compassionate City of Westland has partnered with Quality Care Testing to bring a drive-through COVID testing site to City Hall. Weekdays from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m., the site will administer free PCR tests to all ages. There is no insurance required to be tested, but you are asked to bring your card if you do have coverage. You will not be charged for the test. Results will be sent by email, text, or a phone call. There is no appointment needed to be tested. Just drive up to City Hall located at 36300 Warren Road you can get more information by going to our website at cityofwestland.com. Wednesday is the next day for library homebound deliveries. For those not familiar with the service, it's pretty simple. Residents who can't leave their home due to an illness, recovery, age, disability, or some other mobility challenge can sign up for the free program. A librarian will contact you to discuss reading preferences and sign you up to receive new materials every couple of weeks. This could include regular or large print books, audio books, music CDs, DVDs, or periodicals. And for those who aren't necessarily homebound but have difficulty getting to the library, there is a huge collection of materials in digital form that can be checked out using your card any time of day. Just visit westlandlibrary.org for more information or call the library at 734-326-6123. Eloise is the stuff of legend around Westland and southeastern Michigan. Unfortunately, most of what people think about Eloise is exaggerated and untrue. If you would like to get the real story, join historian Jeff Kozlowski for a special presentation on Thursday, January 20th at City Hall. He will be presenting his lecture titled, Eloise and Other Things, beginning at 6 p.m. The event is free, but pre-registration is required and limited to 100 people. You can get more details and sign up by going to the event section on the Westland Historic Village Park Facebook page. The talented actors of Inspired Theater are once again ready to entertain the community with a new show. This time they will be performing Neil Simon's Rumors. This hilarious play takes place in a New York City townhouse where the deputy mayor has shot himself in the head and four couples there to attend a party to try to conceal everything from the media and police. Rumors will be playing for the next couple of weekends with a closing performance on January 30th. Inspired shows always sell out so it's recommended to get tickets early. They are available now by going to inspiretheater.ticketleap.com. This week on WLND, City Council Meeting. This meeting of the Westland City Council was held and recorded on Tuesday, January 18th in the Council Chambers of Westland City Hall. In less than a month, Hockey Night in Westland returns to the Mike Madonna Ice Arena. Mayor Weil has assembled a team of local skaters to take to the ice against a team from the Detroit Red Wings Alumni Association. Previous games have featured appearances from the likes of Darren McCarty, Peter Klima, and even Mickey Redman. Money raised from the event will go to fund improvements at the Ice Arena and to support various Red Wings charities. Tickets for the February 18th game are available at the arena and can also be purchased online through cityofwestland.com. That brings this episode to a close. If you have an event that you would like to mention on a future show, give WLND a call at 734-467-3198. Don't forget to visit our website for the most complete collection of information regarding our city. You can also follow us on social media for the latest up-to-the-minute news. Thanks for watching.